It's Allie Hi Green. Hi, Allie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Um, and I can tell by the background there, you're actually in your apartment in New York City. New York City. Yep. Home sweet home. Well, good. Well, good. Uh, and uh, you have, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Help me, Josh. Um, augmented your income with a little bit of the OnlyFans stuff? Is uh... I, I have. Yeah, it's been fun. Our fans are the best, by yeah. the way, oh, because I lost my voice earlier this week and people were sending me chicken soup and it's like a fully interactive fun kind of platform in all ways. Oh, cool. Do you have like a wish yeah. list on your page where you can people can go to it and see what you'd like to be gifted? I think they do. I didn't even fill that out. People were just like, can I send you some soup? Here's some, you know, wow. money. Like that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, how it kind of works. <laughs> how nice. Very, very sweet. All right. And, and uh, there's a lot of questions about when Josh, Christy, and Jess Allsman are joining. So <laughs> if anyone has any <laughs> inclination. Uh, okay. And, so, and, and uh, I'm not familiar with OnlyFans <laughs> except through Josh's uh, uh, coaching. How does one find you? It's pretty specific. It has to be, I think, OnlyFans.com slash Allie B. A-L-L-I-B. Is there a space after the I? Nope, nothing. Oh. All one word. So Alib. Alib. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Okay. Well, thanks. Now, the way this show works is um, people write you letters, and they ask you uh, to ask us to help them with uh, their love life. So we're ready. What have you got? Dear Allie. My boyfriend surprised me and came home early from a business trip. He knows I hate surprises, so I think he was doing it just to see if he could catch me cheating. I just hate that he wants me to act excited like he did something romantic when I think it's the exact opposite. So now we're in a fight and I can't let go because he made it impossible to prove. What should I do? Oh, oh wow. He did made he... it impossible to prove. What, what does that mean? Did he accuse you of cheating ever? I wonder. Otherwise, he probably it... is trying to surprise you, but... It yeah. sounds like I, I think you like just, your sounds, alone time. It sounds like he's just trying to surprise you. I don't see any. I, well, the problem is she's told him she hates surprises. I, I, uh, I kind of get it. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're trying to make plans because he is gone, like say with yourself or with friends. Doesn't mean you have to yep. be cheating. And then he crashes the party like, here I am. I'm back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he doesn't trust her to me. He's he, I, no matter or what, he's he, he, did, he messed up. It's, he messed up. Yeah. Whatever he was doing. I mean, isn't he allowed to come back to his own house? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not as a surprise. <laughs> when she says, I hate surprises, and then he tries to give her one. <laughs> That's yeah. his, then, and, and she doesn't, and then things don't go right. It's on him. He could have got shot. <laughs> I he think, could have broken in the house, right. not broken in the house, entered the home, and she would have thought it was an intruder, something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Right, like that Olympian guy. <laughs> oh. I'm getting a little bit uh, paranoid here. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think it was okay for him to come to say hi. What a nice surprise. Glad you're back. I think that's what she means by impossible to prove because he's like, but I did something nice. And she's like, but I hate it. And he's like, yeah. you can't. I, it was romantic. You know, he's I mean, making it seem yes, like she's can. crazy. Agree to disagree on what you both yeah. like. Okay, we'll move on. What else have you got? Dear Allie, I was dating a stripper in my 20s and I got her pregnant and then we got married. Okay. Our daughter's now six and she wants to know how we met. Do we actually tell her? No. No, no why would we? No, hey. you, it's never too early to, uh, for them to start stripping. <laughs> <laughs> just tell her. You can just tell her you met her where uh, where mom worked as a whatever. I don't need to know. You don't bar? have to tell her. Turn her around. Get her on the pole. She's six years old. Oh, oh come on. No, you know. No. You don't have to tell her. Uh, uh, we met in the club. Yeah, met yeah, yes. We met at a bar. We met... Uh, we met in the club. It doesn't matter. I saw your mom at a, at where she worked and she looked so pretty. I had to ask oh. her. Yeah, out. yeah. You, you don't want to bring this up. No, you don't. She doesn't need to know what stripping is yet. Yeah, no. she doesn't need to know why she has lingerie that says so I, Bambi on it. <laughs> so I took some uh, Booba Palooza dollars and I bought it's her. A, you have a lovely family. It doesn't matter to her. Yeah, plus so, she's six. You could lie to her. Yes. Say yeah. Disney World. Lie to your six year old. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. Yeah, no, you don't want to bring up the that's no. way too hard to explain. Yeah. I would never bring it up again. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a six-year-old doesn't need to know about it. Right. right. Exactly. Ergo, yeah. it, it, it defines not to be ashamed of it. You, well, come on. <laughs> Sex isn't anything to be ashamed of. You don't tell your four-year-old about how you and mom... No, they you tell her six years old, <laughs> yeah, this get is up on stage. Let's do this. <laughs> last this night, is your future. Last night, I had to explain sharting 
to well, one of my little girls. Really? Oh, that's cool. Wonder where <laughs> had she to heard. or loved to. No. <laughs> right. no. I wonder where she heard that. Hart got up on the chair in the middle of dinner, said, hey, everybody, wait a second. And she turned around, and I thought she was doing something else. And then the next thing you know. She sharded? No, she, she <laughs> just had a little bit of a toot. Well, that's very She funny. thought it was hilarious. And that I is said, hilarious. But she was kind of forcing it. And I said, you're lucky that wasn't a shart. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to explain that to her. Wow. Well, man. And then my other little girl goes, Daddy, have you ever sharted? Um, so she, at least she was using it properly in a sentence. In the middle of dinner, your, yes. one of your daughters that got up on the lovely. table yes. and said, hey, everybody. And just <laughs> Family <laughs> dinner at time. Absolutely. That's that's she's amazing. eight. Pass the meat loaf. That's what they do. No, that's not what they do. Well, you that's what a parent <laughs> say, sit down and eat your meal. I tried that. I would have gotten so punished. Uh, oh, yeah. Me too. Oh. Okay, well, uh, ba room. back to you, Allie. I would have got knocked into next week. <laughs> what have we got, Allie? Dear Allie, I was out at a bar and I met a guy who was buying me drinks all night. When he asked me for my phone number at the end of the evening, I told him I had a boyfriend and he was openly mad at me. Yeah. He said, I should have told him after the first drink. I said he never asked and $85 shouldn't make me feel like he owns me. Who's right here? Uh, drinks. No. I think you she should have said something. Oh, bitch. Yeah. No, no. He didn't ask. Uh, I would think no, you would No, ask, it's right? implied. It is implied. Yeah, if you accept yeah. a drink from a guy in a bar, right. it's implied that you or wanted to At get least to accept know the better. second one. No, you know what? She's not a B. She's a turd. Right. She's no, no. The first drink's fine, right? Girl. Yeah. Yeah. The, the second one, you go, hey, listen, you need, you need to know that I've you know, got a boyfriend or whatever. Yes. It's rude. It's That's the thing. The least it is is rude. And you knew yes. what you were doing. And by the way, <laughs> exactly. and by, by the way I don't it, want to be owned for $85. Uh, no, well, I, if, if first she, off, nobody wants to own you. Yeah, if she drank $85 worth of drinks, I'm surprised that she was, you know, didn't, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no joke. Well, no, no, I do because that could be three drinks. Yeah, yeah oh, no, Billy. that's true. That's that's true. A little bit more that's in the, in the city, are. hillbilly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've got inflation that bad, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's your $2 well. Yeah. <laughs> I want some uh, double pop-off. <laughs> yeah, she'll, she'll have old granddad. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, she should. I think she should have said something. It's the polite, it's the polite thing to do, something. yeah. That's, now, for him to yeah. get mad... It, you know, don't get... You know what I did the other night? I got this guy for 85 bucks. <laughs> I told him I got, I, he was ugly, though, so I, I told him I had a boyfriend. No, <laughs> I got to drink by the way, free by all the way, night. Who, who was that? Could you introduce us? That's uh, uh, Sassy McFarland. <laughs> He's really, yeah. Like they call yeah. me Sassy. He was mayor, wasn't he? Uh, sassy good. was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's I'm, a damn good mayor. Okay, good. Uh, what else we got, Allie? <laughs> Dear Allie... Me and my friend are both newly single, and we decided to set each other up on blind dates. I set her up with a dentist who's very cute and very eligible, okay. and she set me up with an Uber driver who just moved back in with his parents. <laughs> I'm really upset, but do I sound like oh a snob God. if I complain yep. about this yes, and tell her why? Well, yes. Why? Why no, no, you don't sound like a snob. Yeah. You are a snob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, though. Why didn't she set herself up with the dentist? No yeah. joke. Because she's already had him, probably. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, probably, or they're too close, or enjoy, too good of friends. Enjoy being single. Like, you know what, this Uber driver, who cares he's not a dentist? He might be hot and, like, yeah, have some good good times. Yeah, his them. parents may have some good video games in the basement. <laughs> they might. Yeah. You know they have snacks. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Easily. They'll yeah, cook liquor. you breakfast. They got bottled water. Free he's liquor. an Uber driver. But right? dentists yes. don't have Gum? any candy. Jeez. <laughs> you get a free ride home. Don't yeah. be so snobby. Yeah, well, why would you ever No, you know what? Do that Uber driver a favor. Yeah. Don't go out with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you're asking, do I sound snobby? You're sounding snobby. Okay. And if you're a snob, that's fine. Be a snob. Ignore this guy. Go right. find somebody else. It is weird. She wouldn't try to hook up with a dentist, though. Like, who knows? It sounds too perfect, unless there's something wrong with him. Well, now, that is one of those things, yeah, you, where a friend tries too hard to hook you up with someone who's super eligible, and you're like, well, why wouldn't you date them if that's the case? Right. Yeah. Is the Uber driver, by the way, going to charge her for... I bet she gets free rides. Oh, so, so when they get to the movie, Any when they get to the ride. movie, he's not going to go. Hey, give me a good rating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got time for one more at least, Allie. What do you got? Dear Allie, my boyfriend has a small penis, but is amazing in bed. I told my friends this well, that's about a week ago. That's impossible. Wait a minute. You told your friends. Motion of the ocean. 
Go yep. on. I told my friends about this. And then about a week ago, he told one of my friends he wanted to propose, but only really had enough money for a small ring. Oh. He asked what he should do. She said he needed to wait until he could buy a big ring to compensate for his small penis. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yep, it's just so Now he's laugh. curious that I talked about him like that yep. with my friends. Oh, my and I said, I, tell, I told everyone you were great in bed. I don't know what you're upset about. How do I fix this? Oh, oh, my God. Too late. Yeah, she, why would she ever discuss why that with anyone? Do that? Yeah. I don't think. I, I don't what know. A, what a, night, you got a few drinks in you. What just a happens. coven of witches! <laughs> well, my bad, you went with coven. <laughs> Me too. I think he <laughs> is overreacting here. What? You who's? Do? Who cares? But like the whole group of friends knows, knows now. Who cares? Mm. She's he he all, his friends cares. are to give him a nickname like Mike. I don't Mike, care about yeah, is it micro. Oh, oh. oh wow. I don't care about the size of uh, you know the, the crank, but uh, the, the consulting on you need a bigger, bigger ring. ring. That's that's, that's the friends though. She yeah, can't help that her yeah. friends said that. Crap. Well, they have friends don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, sad, not sad, fair. Sadly, the ring also fits around it. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. And it vibrates. That's one what way a to, friend is. And by the way, way propose, I guess. Don't be so. You all girls talk about this stuff. All girls talk about yeah. this stuff. Don't act like you don't. No. So you can't I be. Agree, no, you know. cannot be shocked that this girl told her girlfriend, "Say hey, he has a small penis, but he's great in bed." No, I am yeah. kind of shocked. They can no. say he's great in bed. I no, okay. no, no. I don't believe you. All right. <laughs> I think after a few drinks, it all comes out. Even if you don't mean to say it, you just start telling your friends stuff. Right. You know that you didn't intend. And to. by the way, this guy has said the exact same stuff. But yeah, my girlfriend has small boobs, but I still, you know, really, I'm Do, really. Oh, you guys talk like it's that. It's really hot in bed. Of course. Yes, and so does so did he at some point in his life. He's All making right. a bigger deal out of this than it is. <laughs> he is. I don't know. I don't understand. Why do you call your girlfriend Topanga? Well, you know the canyon. Uh, <laughs> good for him, though. At least he knows how to still satisfy. Yeah, he should you. come back with that. Gosh. <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah, satisfying. Yeah, the ring's strictly supposed to be based on your monthly income. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's this, it symbolizes his love for it. doesn't matter how big it is or right. small it is. Well, the truck matters to her friends. I'll tell you yeah, that. Yeah, well, her friends are idiots. Okay, yeah. uh, we have time for one more, Allie. Dear Allie, my friend just got married and she sent out digital invitations. It's a destination wedding, so she knew a lot of people wouldn't be able to come. She invited, I think, about 300 people and included her Venmo in the Evite for people who couldn't come but still might want to buy her drinks. No. Isn't this just digital begging? Yeah. It's pathetic. Wow. <laughs> Are buy you, her drinks. Buy her drinks. I've seen people set it up where you can donate to the honeymoon fund. Right. Like they don't need gifts, but if you want to get something, you can do that. But just to buy me drinks at the wedding. And or why reception. are you buying drinks at the reception? Isn't that that's oh, usually man. already on? I the guess to contribute to the open bar is what it means. Oh. Yeah. Like, hey, if you want to pay for our open bar, even though you can't come. Oh my God. Here's your invite. Yeah. I don't Although know what. Wow. I, how much would you pay though to get out of going to? A yeah, that's the. Th I now I yeah. I agree with you, okay, Chick. There you go. Wait a minute. You mean I can get out of this for forty bucks? Yeah. Uh, Check. I'd go hundred fifty. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with this yeah. either. Here's hundred fifty bucks. Don't, yeah, if you want to give us a gift, if you want to give us some money for, because we're getting married and you can't make it, uh, sure, go for it. Why not give them the option? I, I think why the, what, the this Venmo is the thing. Pettiest. The, the Venmo. Is this what relationships are? Yeah. yeah. Petty. I can't stand it. That's why. That's why you don't have. Why you're not married? People. Are amazingly petty. God bless it. Tom Petty couldn't stand it anymore. He had to pass away. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> okay. well, I guess the key here too is that she overinvited to right. get the extra Venmo. Yeah, that's oh. like if you know it's going to be yeah. a destination wedding, you don't invite three hundred. Then people. don't marry the bitch. Uh, <laughs> I, I, God damn it. Josh, Josh Hardy. No, this is this is the person who got the this is the person who got Wheels the invitation. <laughs> the, you know what she should. The lady done. who got the invite is the one that's writing this letter. Put up a. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not her husband. No. <laughs> Somebody's had to have done this. Put up a GoFundMe. Hey, I'm getting married. Send me money. Oh, yes. of course. Right. Absolutely. Right. Here's what yeah. you do. Don't send money. <laughs> that is the best thing you can do. Or here's 200 bucks. Don't ever contact me again yeah. in any way for anything. Yeah. The Venmo things just seems a little bit, I don't know. 
trashy. Yeah, it's yeah. a little on the nose. Yeah, yeah it's a every little... wedding has something tacky. So this is yeah. this is hers. But the next time, drinks. next time I get married, I'm gonna have a, a <laughs> performing bear Are you? and one of those dogs that hop up on a wheel and yeah. and just run around. The <laughs> only <laughs> way I'll come to your wedding is if you have a plate spinner. Done. <laughs> then I'm coming. <laughs> Boom. It's my favorite thing. Just and it's gonna be set up at your table. Yeah, that's fine. Allie Breen can <laughs> be reached bear got me. Uh, at the social media. It's A L L I space B R E E N Allie Breen, and then on the Only Fans, it's A L L I B. B, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Paran smut. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, for a whole different way to interact. And, uh, the show is called Sexy Time. Thank you, Allie. It's Bye, always Allie. a pleasure. Thanks, guys. Bye, Allie.